Hey everyone, we're gonna get started for today with our warm up. Uh, so to get started, it's gonna be a four minute EMOM. Um, two movements. Minute one is going to be 10 up downs. So hands down, kicking back, back up. Once you've done your 10 up downs, you're just gonna rest for the remainder of that minute. And then minute two is gonna be 10 alternating groiners in your lunge and switch it to that. Once you've done that four minute EMOM, we're gonna do a six minute EMOM uh, with three movements. Um, so the first minute you're gonna do five dumbbell or kettlebell Romanian deadlifts. So with my dumbbell, just gonna be our stiff leg. You're actually going to just have a slight knee bend, hinging up the hips, making sure you keep your back flat. So if at any point you round, don't go any lower and back up. Once you've done five, you're gonna do five high pulls per side, okay? So you're just pulling the dumbbell or kettlebell high up, elbow outside. Minute two is gonna be 10 step ups with high knees. So that's gonna look like this. You're just gonna step up, knee comes up, back down. And make sure you're alternating. Um, and then finally, it's just gonna be a 30 second wall sit. So find a wall, making sure we're making a 90 degree angle with our knees. Once you've done that six minute EMOM, we're gonna move into a skill section today. Um, so we're giving you about 10 minutes, uh, give or take. Um, and it's gonna be four sets of three wall walks. Um, and at the top of each rep, we're trying to hold for 15 seconds here uh, with good form. So our goal here today is to just walk up as high as we feel comfortable with uh, while still maintaining a nice hollow body. If that's all the way in, awesome. If it's at 45, just as good. Um, I just want you to maintain that position, pushing through the ground. Don't let your shoulders collapse. All right, so it looks like this. Starting in your plank position, walking up. And making sure we walk our feet back down and we don't just let our feet slam down, especially if you're at home I don't think that's gonna feel good on a harder surface. Um, so again, take about 10 minutes. It's gonna be four sets of three. Um, trying to get those longer holds at the top, rest as you need. Now we're gonna move into our Metcon for today. So today we have two options. Um, quickly gonna go over option B first, um, cause it's just 10 200 meter runs um, and you're gonna rest a minute between each set. Um, so like I said, with the last running workout, if you have an app that measures distance uh, for running, it would be good to measure that out first and just so you know uh, where to go each round. Um, if you choose to do that, um, that's your workout for the day. Um, option A is going to be a Metcon. We are going, starting with 10 reps, moving down all the way to rep one um, of a kettlebell or a dumbbell sumo deadlift high pull. So, Sumo deadlift high pull. We're getting into our wide stance, feet slightly turned out. Our deadlift position, we're gonna make sure we bring our hips down here so we can keep our chest upright. So I don't wanna see chest down. So keeping your chest upright. The deadlift portion, you're gonna be driving through the legs as hard as you can. And then we're gonna finish it with a high pull with our elbows out and up. Right, making sure we're coming back down into that good uh, deadlift position at the bottom each time. I know we can get lazy with that um, as the reps go on. We don't wanna be pulling with our back, we wanna be driving through our legs. Um, catch here, after every set you do, so after the 10 reps, after the nine reps, eight, and so on, um, you will do five box jumps or 10 step ups. Um, whatever works for you in the space you have, 